Good morning, everyone. Today is the 9th of November. It's Wednesday morning. It's hop day. Are you hopping along the bunny trail this morning? <laughs> oh, we're gonna, we're gonna discuss and, and I'm gonna have Mark read a very short chapter today in the Bible, but it's full of wonderful truth for God's people and it's, it's a six, 60 second psalm. You know, <clears throat> We live in Arkansas, and Arkansas is, I mean, well, right on the boundaries of Arkansas. We live in actually in the state of misery, but <laughs> we, uh, anyway, we're in rocky soil out here. I mean, my Mark likes to go out and, and, and uh, uh, pick up the rocks because there's rocks, a lot of rocks. Well, we're here this morning to talk about the rock of all rocks, that stone that was set at naught, the foundation stone, the pillar and ground of the truth, Jesus Christ. The Roman Catholic Church wants to say that Peter's the stone. And Peter never, ever claimed to be the first pope. <laughs> Peter never said, you've got to come and confess your sins to me, because I'm the first bishop. Anyway, this Psalm 62, it says, Truly my soul waiteth upon God, from him cometh my salvation. If you have, you or I have salvation, have you ever had someone ask you, are you saved? <laughs> you know, if, if I'm saved, if I'm saved, where did my salvation come from? Did it come from myself? From my own decision? From my own supposed free will? Well, David says it comes from God. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. And he goes on, he says, How long will you imagine mischief against a man? You shall be slain, all of you, as a bowing wall, shall you be as a tottering fence. That's what free willism is. A tottering fence. They only consult to cast him down from his excellency. They delight in lies. They bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly, Selah. The Arminian and the Roman Catholic Church cast down the excellency of Christ. My soul wait thou upon God. My expectation is from Him. If we have faith in God, it's only because it's been given to us. By grace are you saved through faith, not of yourselves. It is a gift of God. He is the author. He is the finisher of our faith. With the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, despised the shame, and is set down at the right hand of God. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. There's a song that says, I shall not be, I shall not be moved. I shall not be, I shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's planted by the water. I shall not be moved. That's what David's saying here. 
He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. You know, do you take refuge in your family? Do you take refuge in your education? Do you take refuge in your savings account or in your 401k? A lot of people aren't taking much refuge in their 401k now, are they? Our refuge is in God. If we're one of God's elect, we're one of God's people. Trust in him at all times, ye people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us, Selah. Surely men of low degree are vanity, and men of high degree are a lie. To be laid in the balance, they are altogether lighter than vanity. Trust not in the in oppression and become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set your, not your heart upon them. You know, if you have riches, poof, it all vanish like that in the thin air. Job found that out, right? God has spoken once, twice have I heard that power belongeth unto God. Do you believe that? Do you believe that God is the omniscient, omniscient, omnipresent, omnipotent, majestic, alpha, omega, king of kings, and lord of lords? Do you believe that? And then how does David conclude this psalm? What's the last verse? He says, also unto thee, O Lord, belongeth mercy. Thou renderest every man according to the work, to his work, but you know, I'm glad that our works don't, um, determine our salvation. We reap what we sow. I used to kid around with people, you know. You sow what you rip and you rip what you sow. <laughs> but, we have to remember that the origin of our faith and our salvation and our defense and our hope and our trust uh, comes from God alone who gave it. So I'm going to turn this over to Mark. And as Mark reads this, uh, remember that, remember where salvation comes from. All right. It doesn't come from ourselves. It's not of ourselves. It's not of ourselves lest any man should boast. Chief physician to Jeff, son of Psalm of David, true, my soul waiteth upon God, and from him comes my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. How long will you imagine mischief against a man? You should be slain all of you. So bowing walls shall you be in the tottering fence. They only console to cast him down for his ecstasy. They delight in the lies. They bless their mouth. They curse him with Lucila. My soul wait thou only upon God, for my expectation is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. And God is my salvation, my glory, the rock, and my strength, and my refuge in God. Trust Him in all times. You people pour out your heart before Him. God is a refuge for us. Selah. Truly men of low degree are vanity, and men of high degree are a lie to be laid in the balance. They're altogether a liar than vanity. Trust not in oppression. Become not in vain or robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. God has spoken once, twice have I heard this, that power belongeth unto God. Also unto thee, O Lord, belong mercy, for thou rentest every man according to his work. Okay, thank you, Mark. Well, just remember this. If you're trusting in your own works, in the works of your hand, and you're not trusting in God Almighty, 
you're trusting in the wrong thing. God bless you.